taken. This is actually a carriageway which Metcalf built as an access to his estate. So somewhere over here, to my right, was a stream, a natural one. This carriageway also acted as a bridge. So Metcalf diverted that stream under this bridge beyond this wall. If you look at the wall, you see that there's passage for water to flow. Beyond that wall and beyond that building over there, right ahead. So these buildings actually already existed when Metcalf purchased this land. There were already Lodi's here, Tuglag's here, all of them had already been here. And when Metcalf came, he cleared away some area, he modified some of the existing buildings. So that building already existed, parts of this wall already existed. So he built this carriageway, added on to this uh, rampart. And uh, when he diverted the stream beyond that building, he dug, he, he created a depression so that the water collected and created an artificial lake. He extended that building into that water and that was his boathouse. Uh, <laughs> people say he used to breed pigeons. Oh. So the, if we climb up, there, there are some small sections in the wall which seem to be ideal places for breeding birds or keeping birds. But uh, those could be modern innovations also. Modern in the sense late Mughal period, around the time when Metcalf was already here. And they but were added later. They, they could have been added later. If you come in, you'll be able to see portions of the building which has been added. of the building leading into the water, almost like a ghat. Yeah. Yeah. So this was his lake and perhaps a boat tethered here and whenever he felt like, uh, just come down, have a beer <laughs> perhaps <laughs> and <laughs> a boat ride maybe. How long did he stay here? Metcalf was in Delhi from uh, 1835 to 53. It's about 20 odd years. Pretty recent, considering. Ha ha, pretty recent. And if you look at the building, you can notice what are the additions he made to it. Portion is Metcalf's extension. You can see the difference in the arches. Typically Lodi period arch and this is a semi-circular arch which is typical of colonial construction in Delhi. The arches in CP look like this. Yeah. This is a Lodi period arch. <laughs> the further in this in these buildings. They weren't open to elements like this. For instance, um, this facade, just above the arch, you can see a little bit of brick and stone with a roundish sort of a gap, hole. This would have held some sort of a hinge, which would have held a doorway. And look at this wall. So, uh, pieces of masonry like this, or this which do not match with rest of the wall. 
This is because these are reused stones. They were earlier part of some other building. Either that building was destroyed and that, may, that building material was used here or they were just lying around. Even now if you walk around here you'll find plenty of stone which you can just pick it up and put in your wall at your home. Yeah? So many buildings here show evidence of reuse of stones and they're all around you. So you see this even in the residential complex which Metcalf built. And of course the most famous example of reuse of stones is the Kutub complex itself. Where you have the mosque, 